On this worksheet, we're going to practice drawing the products of the reduction and on a, uh, oxidation of a few different monosaccharides. We're going to be starting with the reduction reactions. So all of the reactions in this first problem are going to be reductions. For example, maybe this is done by using H2 with a little bit of platinum. In this reaction, the carbon-oxygen double bond is converted to a carbon-oxygen single bond, and that, is, uh, that happens by adding a hydrogen to the oxygen and also adding a hydrogen to the carbon right there. So these particular products, um, this is a, a reaction that we've seen many times with a few different types of molecules. We've seen this done with carbon carbon double bonds and also being done with carbon oxygen double bonds and again what's going on here um, is we are adding let's say maybe it's this hydrogen right here and also this hydrogen right here we're adding those two hydrogens to the to the carbon and to the oxygen atom and the product of this is we call an aldatol here is another one so we could imagine using that same set of reagents h2 with pt it's important to note that these reagents don't make any changes to any other portion of the molecule. So you can see that I'm starting by just redrawing, copying all the rest of the molecule because no portion of that will change. And also the hydrogen and the oxygen, they're going to stay there as well. The carbon-oxygen double bond is now going to be a single bond, and we're going to be adding one hydrogen to the carbon and adding one hydrogen to the oxygen. So these are the atoms that were added in this reaction. Um, next, we're going to practice drawing the product of oxidation of some monosaccharides. The product of oxidation is referred to as an aldonic acid. The oxidation reaction is going to work only on the, the aldehyde portion of, of an aldose. This could be done by using something like what we call Benedict's reagent. This goes by a name. And when we're doing this reaction with an aldose, first of all, I'm going to copy all of the rest of the molecule because no change is made to any of the other portions of the molecule, um, just the aldehyde group. So we're copying all, like the whole, almost whole entire molecule. We're only making changes to this portion up here. This reaction keeps the carbon-oxygen double bond, so that doesn't go away. Um, all that it does is magically add this oxygen atom in the carbon-hydrogen bond location. So it just fits that oxygen atom right in place. And this reaction is a little bit trickier with ketoses, so we've got a couple ketoses that we can use to practice this reaction. Another set of reagents that could be used to do this reaction is the copper 2 plus ion in OH minus. So that I'm gonna, um, you could use this reagent, um, Benedict's reagent, interchangeably. You could see them written interchangeably. So this reaction is a little bit trickier. Um, we're going to start by copying all of this portion of the molecule because this portion of the molecule does not change. So that's where I'm gonna start, just like that. And then this reaction is gonna work on the top half of the molecule. So it's um, gonna wanna kinda keep our skeleton in place. So this carbon atom is right here and this carbon atom is now right here. I wanna make sure I don't lose any carbons. The carbon on the top of this chain, even though it originally was a CH2OH, it's gonna end up matching the top carbon of, of an aldonic, uh, of an aldose. So up there at the top, we are going to end up looking exactly the same carbon oxygen double bond. And then in this position right here, um, we're just going to get an OH group. And so there's a lot of, you know, kind of, this reaction is a little bit harder to, to look at and sort of remember and understand because there's a lot of different kind of shuffling going on. But if you can remember that you want to make the top of this uh, molecule a carboxylic acid, regardless of what you're starting with, you're always going to have a carboxylic acid up here on top. So we're going to get to practice this one more time. Let's use the cu 2 plus OH- again. And we want to begin by drawing, first we're going to draw all of this, of the molecule because we know that part does not change. So we'll get that part drawn in first. And then let's just kind of mark these two carbon atoms. So there's the pink carbon. 
and then we've got this blue carbon and that's going to be up here that carbon up in, on the top is always going to be a carboxylic acid group and this one right here is just being converted to a regular single bond OH group like that.